Today we're taking a look at ASX listed company Allchem, ASX ticker AKE, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Allchem go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another ASX stock analysis video. Today we're taking a look at company Allchem, their ticker on the ASX is AKE. They are a lithium chemicals company and they also do borate production as well. They are operating currently in four different continents and have a few subsidiaries including Galaxy Resources, another big company. So make sure you do check them out if you are interested in the lithium space. But today, simply, we're just doing our usual technical analysis on their chart and making some predictions based on that on where we can expect to see Allchem go in the near future. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into their chart. Welcome into the Allchem chart today, guys. As you can see, this chart has had an absolutely incredible run. In just over a year, they have gone from a low over here on the 2nd of November, and that was a value of $2.40 to where they're currently sitting at now at $11.36. Their high only just occurred the other day, and that high was at $11.44. So all in all, this is pretty incredible. And what's even more impressive is it looks like this run is going to continue. But before I show you why I think that, I'm gonna put in place a few key parameters. First of which is this clear uptrend, which has been, I suppose, made from this beautiful, beautiful trend that we have seen. So of course, put in our base there, an uptrending channel. Here we go, we've got the top end probably sitting just about there. You can see when it's jumped out of the channel previously off a bit of a run, then, you know, fallen back into it. This is a very, very impressive uptrending channel that has gone for over the course of a year. So now that you can see that this channel is in place, what I'm also going to do is extend out the top end of this channel. And what you can see is it looks like we're getting a bit of a breakout and trying to run above that channel once again. And the top end, and today we are just breaking out as we speak. So really, really exciting stuff. Furthermore, we have the 20 day moving average crossing above the 50 day moving average, a bullish sign for the short term, indicating that likely we are going to continue moving in an upwards direction. Now, this line that's coming up now, the 20 day moving average, is currently sitting at $10.07, and that's gonna move up as a large point of support for us. As well, I think what we have just seen as well is a flag pattern actually form itself. So if I put in place our little flagpole just there, you've got basically the base of our flag pattern, I'd suggest forming just about there. And of course, we had the top end of our flag pattern from up here, moving in a downwards direction. You could probably even put it a bit more sedately, I'd say, more like that and bring the top end down, just a bit more like that to bring it back in line with the trend. That flag pattern was then broken today, which also broke the channel that we see. So all in all, things are looking extremely bullish for this stock. Really, really good stuff. Volume, interestingly enough, isn't spiking at this point in time. Whilst yes, we have seen it spike at the bottom end of the trends, what that means is basically people are smart enough to be buying at the bottom end of this channel. And it also indicates to me that this channel is extremely reliable moving forward. So I'd suggest we won't see major volume unless we start to see a real big spike outside of this channel. But I think the key reason we haven't seen it yet is because the last time this occurred, we saw, you know, the nice big spike out of it, and then it came back down in the channel and it couldn't break that channel. So I think a bit more confidence is required from people potentially investing or trading on this stock. And then we'll likely see some volume come in if the breakout is very, very clear. Now, of course, there is one key point of resistance and simply that is right here, the all time high that we have just seen. So that is the ultimate target and hopefully we will see that potentially by the end of the day, there's only an hour left. It's about midday right now, uh, Western Australian Standard Time. So in about an hour, we may see a test of that high once again, and who knows, maybe even a breakout of it as well. But that remains to be seen. It hasn't been touched today, but that really is 
our key point of resistance, and of course our key target at this point in time. This top end of the channel now is also going to be acting as a key support point over the next few days as well. Let's just quickly check the hourly. As you can see, we've climbed nicely into, I suppose, new territory, and we've come back in, and that really is our point which we need to hit right up here at the 11.44 mark. So I'll just slightly drop that down. There we go, so it lines up nicely. But let's just quickly jump back to the daily and have a look at a few more indicators as well. First one I wanna look at is the MACD. And as you can see, it had a cross at the bottom. So not only did we see a cross at the bottom, we also saw what the bottom of that channel touch. So two really big indicators for us to show that basically the trend was reversing and it is basically a real clear trade to make if you were in this stock at that point in time. Great position to buy in before a move up towards the top end of the channel as well. It did look like that we were seeing a peak over here of our MACD as well. But interestingly enough, it looks like we haven't kept flattening out today. We've actually, you know, gone horizontal and had the same height as the previous day, maybe even slightly higher. And given we've got another hour left, I think potentially we could see a continuation of this uptrend. So really, really good stuff. MACD looking extremely positive at this point in time. RSI, let's have a quick look at that one. You can see that we quickly went into the overbought range, hitting a peak of 74.76. We've dropped back down, but today we are still sitting relatively high at 68.52, just on the cusp. I can foresee that potentially we may have another jump to test that 11.44 mark, but of course that does remain to be seen. All in all, right now I'm expecting potentially either two different scenarios. Firstly, we're going to see a big breakout. The RSI is going to be ignored and we're going to shoot in an upwards direction, hopefully to roughly the $12 mark, keep hitting those new highs. Or alternatively, because we are seeing so much buying, we may fall back into our upwards channel. Now, is that a bad thing? Well, not necessarily because it means we're still continuing our overall long-term uptrend and it means it won't drop from the overbought section into, I suppose, a bit more of an acceptable range. Of course, though, that 20-day and 50-day moving average will act as support for us as it moves up, but likely, based on what we've seen in the past, if it does not manage to make a break, we will see it drop back to the bottom trend line here. That wraps up our analysis today on Allchem, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments section below as well. The lithium industry, it is going to be booming this year, in my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.